If you ever heard the RAM windshields can be a problem to tint them, uh, I'm going to give you a couple reasons why you should be concerned, but also what you can do uh, to make sure that they turn out nice. So we've actually already removed the windshield that has the collision avoidance system that's still intact. I didn't know what that was going to look like until I removed that just a little bit ago. But down here, uh, if we peer up, you're going to see a towel up there. That's the BCM module that gives people the most amount of headaches. So what happens is water will typically run down pillars, down in the edges. So you can see I have a dash towel all the way down there tucked into the very lip of the dash. So it's not enough just to throw a towel up here. You really have to do that and you can do a soak rope down there as well and then that'll help prevent water from going down there. But just to be on the extra safe side, if you put a rag up over the wiring, so this white box right here is gonna be your main concern. So you can just see how many wires and shit that they put under there. So be very careful with these. And I'm gonna talk about this mirror for a sec. So this was the gigantic housing that was over it. Now you could tint around it without having to remove it. And sometimes I do, but this one being so big, I ended up just popping this off. And then the mirrors on all these rams are gonna be this twist off style. So that sits right up here. Then it just twists off. And to put it back on, you're gonna leave it and then twist it back up. So not too difficult. Uh, the part where I would be concerned is don't do anything that's going to involve ruining, obviously, or removing this sensor. That's going to be a very expensive part to recalibrate as is. If you had to replace the windshield, that comes along with the calibration as well. I, I don't know exactly what retail is on this particular one, but typically recals go for about 350 bucks. Uh, so that's not something you can just like throw a computer on and do yourself. You're going to have to take it to a specialty shop that's going to do it for you or have somebody come out. So we're going to go ahead and now tint this fun, <laughs> which, you know, of course puts a little stress on me. Uh, so I like to just do everything I can to keep these things safe. I haven't had an issue with these uh, since I discovered where the BCM is. And so I've put out as many videos as I can to hopefully let people know what the dangers can be. And then you're gonna notice I'm just gonna be careful about spraying around that. You can absolutely take some tape, block that kind of stuff off, um, but we're able to spray around it. And then as far as the cutout goes for the system itself, I would never cut one of those up. So it's got the little triangle there I'm just going to go around it. I'm not going to cover that little area up. I don't want to do anything that's going to interfere with the systems that they have. So we're doing 35 on full windshield. And this is a big boy. We got the hybrid squeegee. We're going to be squeegeeing this off top to bottom just as clean as we can. I already went over with like a scrub pad, razor blade, cleaned that off best as I could. So the main thing now is just squeegeeing it off, making sure everything is as clean as possible. All the dust has been removed. So that part's always a little bit boring, but I do overlapping strokes all the way down, push everything over from one side to the other. And then we're going to roll the windshield up and install it, uh, the reverse roll method. Last pass there. Okay, let's set that down. Miss that kind of stuff. And then just around these types of areas and we're good to go. So to clean off the outside, 
Um, I've been taking these towels. These are really good. Um, you can either squeegee off the outside, take a lint-free type towel, clean up all the edges. That's gonna be the main thing. While you were shrinking, you have residue from the dryer sheet on the edges, and I just wanna make sure those are all cleaned up as much as possible. And now we're gonna go ahead and peel this. So I like to peel this in quarters. And we'll peel it straight across. I've also noticed lately, sometimes with these very large cutouts, they make it a little challenging to put the film back down. So what I did instead was I just stopped it short. Put this down on the corner right here. And as I'm unrolling it, that'll just like peel free. So I just noticed that helps with maintaining. Ooh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna leave that towel. Let's get it. Uh, what I was saying, maintaining the liner from like flopping over on itself and water running down where it shouldn't. Okay, now get that wiped off. Let's peel this. About the same spot, so I'm gonna stop it right about there. Pick it up in this lower corner. And then same thing with this bottom part here. I'll just stop it a little shy there, because that's gonna flop over itself if I don't. And then this allows me to set this down nice and clean. So hopefully, that little like stuck triangle there, that's not gonna, this spot right here, that's not gonna matter that I left it that way. See, I, I mess around with stuff too. I don't have all the answers, I just figure things out and go. Okay, so we're gonna roll this from the bottom corner because I'm gonna start in on the driver's side and we're gonna peel it over to the passenger. Pick it up once it kind of becomes difficult to reach because I'm not super tall. Roll it up. Just keep going. This is a big old windshield. And we want this to go on right the first time. So we're gonna fold this all the way up. I'm gonna grab that liner. I'm gonna peel the film back and then just unroll it. Don't question how this works. It just works. I still think it's magic. I like to rinse this off too, just because this was the last section that was rolled up and it's all free here. So to be able to like spray that off and hopefully keep it free of any dirt and dust on the very edge, I think can be a little helpful. I'm gonna mist that, and I'm gonna reach all the way across. I'm gonna go. Slide this down. Focus on putting the left side up first. If you can get this lined up in place, this is gonna make everything way easy. The less you have to push and pull, the better. If it just goes off in place, then it should be very clean and wrinkle free. So you can see here, this is where I would have this big old problem with my mirror. But because I removed it, this allows everything to continue to lay down. And look, see? Those corners that I didn't peel outside, they actually were not any type of problem inside. Okay, I take that back just here a little bit. It just got a little stuck, so we're gonna make sure that's scooted over. <laughs> so what I would adjust next time is after those peel, just gently mist there, 
and then the film's gonna slide around. But I didn't even remember that I peeled that until I was looking at that spot. See, now that spot went free. So it was a little dry here, which could be a problem, but it was just a small spot. So as I'm unrolling, there's a lot of water everywhere else that's gonna kind of sweep in there and loosen that section up. But next time, as I'm unrolling, I'm gonna wanna sh make sure I missed right in there so that's not an issue anymore. Line this all up. And on these rams, oh, we can go down a little farther, cool. So on these rams, the pillars for me are always a little on the tight side. You can see like, you can't pull this back, it's probably bolted in. So I'll start somewhere and kind of work this in. I like to peel the film back farther if I can, like slide it over one way, um, but then just little taps and then squeak it back over. If it doesn't just, you know, if it just ends up overlapped on you. You could also trim it. Trimming's kind of a last resort for me. Okay, and then we're gonna go squeak it back and forth until it's like dead center where we need it. Looking good. Right to the bottom of there. Oh yeah, it was definitely far down. So, for squeegeeing, start in the middle, work your way out in as much of a ripple pattern as you can do. And always spread out the film. You're trying to spread it out across the window from the midpoint, center points, it's how you shrunk it. So that's how you should squeegee it out. So my biggest concern is just gonna be making sure this doesn't slide on me at this point. I'm also concerned about dirt. I never like to see any dirt in here. So even with all those steps, I still cross my fingers just to be sure. I don't think that actually helps, but you know. Okay, no gaps. It has not slid around, that's good. Taking my time here. I'm sure that'll get swept out nice and evenly. Okay, now that is mostly swept out. I'm gonna immediately spritz it down, start from the center, push a little bit harder this time, and just be very direct. So here, you're gonna make sure once it's anchored, more water can be swept out. It's gonna help take away some distortion from the windshield as it's drying for those first couple days. Be less irritating for your customer. Sweep that. Let's get this last little bit. And then we're gonna clean it off on the outside. And I'm gonna get the mirror back on here. I'm gonna leave the clip on housing off. I, I don't know, I might put it back on. But until I'm basically all done with like the rest of the install. So I started with the windshield. So until I'm done with the rest of it, um, I'm not gonna put like the housing and that kind of stuff on it. Not completely. I'm gonna wanna make sure I plug in anything that was unplugged. I don't think it's gonna be an issue if, if it's unplugged, but systems look for other systems. So the mirror is plugged in to this system and I don't know how well or what that functions <laughs> with, but 
let's say you turn on a vehicle and it tries to look for all these systems and it doesn't find something, you might throw a code. That's kind of like something I'm guessing about because I don't want to just play that game, but I know that's how a lot of these systems work. There's lots of sensors and stuff. So I never unplugged anything that had to do with that ADAS system right here. And you can also see the way that this cutout is. So RAM has that cutout for a reason. And while I had it exposed, I could tint over it. I don't know if that's gonna interfere with that system. I kinda, I, I definitely don't wanna chance that. So that would be like a customer decision, not my decision. Looking good. And we're gonna put this wiper down. I have a little water right here that I can make sure it's pushed out. Sweet. Let's go to the other side, scrub that off. Very good. This is the most nerve wracking part for me. I'm not even gonna say what I'm looking for until I know it's not there. <laughs> good. Let's check it on the inside. See some water droplets. Let's wipe those away. Ooh, buddy. We looking good. Everything. Get these droplets out of the way. What I, okay, so what I'm looking for is hairs and bigger pieces of dirt. Anything that would cause me when I'm driving to go like, what the fuck is that? Is that in the app? And then you can touch it and you're like, ah, oh, shit. So I don't see anything like that. Yay. Awesome. So this windshield's going to be done minus the last, you know, wiping down of the sides touch up. And obviously we got to put this back on. So this clips into here. Let's get this thing in place first. because I'm filming this is not gonna go on the easiest this one was really snug too all right we're halfway there we go Whew. tell you that part makes me a little nervous but I've never had a problem doing that I saw a glass company teach me that because otherwise I would just leave them alone but they are twist off and then we're gonna have the housing that comes up here, clips over that little clip, uh, little uh, plastic piece there, and then you're good to go. Um, then we're gonna obviously remove everything, but I'm going to tint the rest of this, and then I will check all that out. I just wanna make sure everything's all situated um, before I wrap this up completely, because if there's something small that I could heat up and touch up there, I'm gonna wanna make sure the housing's out of my way in order to do that, but. Any questions on a truck like this, you don't have to be too nervous. Um, if you know what to cover, that's really the biggest thing about this. So thank you all for watching. Have a good one.